And joining us now to talk more about last night's vote in the Senate is State Senator Dan Kapanke. Thanks very much for being here. Glad to be here. We appreciate your time. Now, first off, we know that you have been in favor of Governor Walker's budget repair bill. Mm -hmm. Last yesterday afternoon, um, the Senate went into a special session. They revised a version of the bill, taking out part, you know the fiscal parts of that that bill. How do you feel about the way this was passed? Well, you know, we had several attempts over the previous two or three weeks by our leader uh, going to Kenosha and talking to the minority, members of the minority, our governor and members of his staff, uh, talking openly, having a dialogue with the minority, uh, making major concessions. You heard earlier this week that the governor did make major concessions. And every day uh, we did that, we thought the next day they were coming back, but they never did. So we felt two weeks, two months, when is it going to end here? So we felt that we should carve out those portions of the bill that we could pass and move forward with that part of it and then uh, the rest of the business of Wisconsin, which we need to pay some attention to as well. It's been just dominant for the last three, four weeks, this budget repair bill. During a meeting with your constitu constituents in Viroqua this week, you yourself said that the majority of people that you're hearing from are against this bill. Why go against what the majority of your constituents are telling you? It's a good question, Mike. I've been asked that a lot. And, uh, Initially, um, my phone lines were flooded and uh, emails were flooded uh, with people that were against the bill. But since that time, that was maybe the first week or 10 days, since that time that's evened out a lot. And as I walk around town and, and in the coffee shops, I hear a lot of thumbs up, see a lot of thumbs up, hear a lot of support for, for this bill. So it is evening out. Would, would I say it's 50-50 now? No, I wouldn't say that at this point. But it's a tough vote for me. It's something uh, that I take very, very serious. But it's, it's about the future of the state of Wisconsin. If we had not had this $3.6 billion deficit, if we had had fiscal responsibility for the last 10 years, we wouldn't be in this situation that we're in today. Why do you feel that this, you've passed it, you voted for it, why do you feel this is important to taxpayers? What is it going to do for taxpayers? Well, it's going to relieve the tax burden because it was, it was two things you could do. You could it's, uh, increase taxes or you can decrease the size of the government. And we chose to decrease the size of the government. And we want to grow jobs here in Wisconsin, which will bring more revenue in. So we have more revenue down the road for the schools, funding that we want for our roads, and taking care of our vulnerables. Mm -hmm. um, you have been the target of some death threats uh, recently. Mm -hmm. We're going to put up on our screen one, uh, an expert, excerpt of one of those uh, death threats. What's your reaction to this? Well, I take it uh, obviously very seriously. Um, I'm very concerned when they bring my family into it, my, my sons, my daughter, um, my grandkids, that, and my wife. That's when, that's when it gets real serious. I put them in that situation, so that's very sobering for me. But uh, at the end of the day, I have great faith in our people here. I know there's some people out here that would, that would do that. I don't think they'll follow through. I really don't believe they'll follow through. There's, there are threats, and that's what they are. But at the same time, we've alerted um, law enforcement, of course, in the Capitol and here, back here in, in La Crosse area. So I, I feel very confident that uh, that will be taken care of and uh, will be okay. But uh, obviously, I take it seriously. There have been a lot of discussions about recall. We've talked to you about this in the mm -hmm. past. Now the conversation is getting even louder. Mm -hmm. um, are, what, what are your thoughts on that? Are you concerned about a potential recall? Well, um, you know, I, I've said previously, two years ago, Governor Doyle came out with a budget adjustment bill that had a 1.1 or 1. plus uh, billion dollar increase in taxes, and, and I hated that bill, and, and Republicans hated that bill, but we stayed on the floor, we voted no, and, and then we went on with other uh, business that we could work together on, and, and that's, that process hasn't taken place here. Uh, Fourteen people left town. And there, we it's really stymied, um, you know, the democratic process here in Wisconsin. Um, this is a very important piece of legislation. This is uh, very important because, again, it's the future of our kids and our schools and, and our infrastructure and, and so many things. And it's a very important uh, uh, step that we've taken to right, you know, our financial house here in Wisconsin. It's more important than my political career. Um, the future of Wisconsin certainly trumps, you know, what my political uh, ambitions may be. And what can you tell that teacher or other union member out there that saw their what they say are their rights to mm -hmm. collectively bargain be stripped from them? Well, you know, I would what I would say is you know ninety three percent of people in the United States are not are, are not represented. Number one, number two, they still have an opportunity to sit across the table from local elected people, uh, their neighbors that sit on school boards and, and city councils, and negotiate with them, and they can have a member. Uh, of the union right there with them, just like before. It's just, it's the same process uh, where people are talking and coming to a, a common ground as far as what a contract looks like. I, I just don't see the big difference there. And I would say to them, 
uh, let's work through, you know, we've got this part of it passed. Let's work through the two-year budget. Uh, I think there's going to be some positive things that are going to take place there, and I think it bodes well for, the again, the future of this great state. All right. Senator Kopenke, thanks Thank so you. much for your time tonight. We appreciate it.